Hey all, it's Andrew Couch here. In this Tire Tuesday video, we're actually not gonna be looking at this week's data set. Instead, I wanted to focus more on actually generating or finding our own data. So one of the most popular ways of grabbing your own data is through web scraping. And a very popular library in Python is called Beautiful Soup. However, R has RVest, which is basically the alternative to it. And what's also good about it is it's a part of the tidyverse. So I know a lot of you guys want me to make more videos on tidy models and, I, and I'm actually working on a post hoc tidy models um, video where we basically analyze like how to select the best optimal model and also do um, class probability estimations. However, I'm still working on it. So this week I figured I'd make a shorter video on, you know, web scraping your own stuff. So one of the other main components of RVest is the selector gadget um, extension on Chrome. And this will allow us to basically select the things we want to grab. So one of the main inspirations that I got from uh, doing some web scraping is I was reading 538 and I was reading their uh, Slack chat um, articles where they basically post all of their Slack chats. And I thought it'd be a kind of a fun project to basically analyze each, um, I guess, editor or reporter's um, dialogue because it's essentially labeled data. So I looked at their website and I saw that they had a tag for Slack chat and I thought it'd be cool to basically go through every Slack chat article and extract all of the dialogue from it with the labeled uh, reporters and editors. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to open up a R markdown file. So R markdown, I'm going to call this tidy Tuesday 5, 538, oops, uh, 5, 538. And we're gonna start loading in our data sets or actually our libraries. So I'm gonna do library, library tidy verse, uh, was it RVest? And we'll load that in. So when I was looking at it, what we can see is we have these tags for Slack chat and we also have the next page. So when I click on next, we can see that there's pages for all of the Slack chat articles. Um, one thing that I need to know is um, how many pages there actually are. So I'm just gonna go to say 50, see if there's 50. There's no 50, so I'll just divide it. We have 25. Um, how about if we have 30? Okay, so what if we have, uh, tw maybe there's 27 pages, so let's try that. Nope, let's try 26. Okay, so it seems that there's about 25 pages. Maybe we'll, we'll try it again, 26. Okay, so there's 25 pages, which is pretty useful for us. So we can just kind of make this into a 538 Slack pages. Uh, and then we'll just say table and say pages is equal to one to 25. Okay, and then what's our 538 pages Slack page? We have our 538 Slack pages, we can just mutate and say like, I don't know, uh, page link, and we'll say uh, paste zero, oops. And then we'll replace the 26 with a uh, page, what is it? Actually, I'll say a uh, page num, page num, and then we'll say page, and then we'll give it page num, and then we'll give it a dash. So now we have our page and our page num. Great, so we'll put that into that. And we'll just say like, um, create the uh, pages of articles to scrape. Great. So when we have our actual pages, what we need to do now is, um, if we go to say, was it one? Um, if we go to one, we wanna start grabbing all these links so we can then go into each link and grab all the text. So one, this is one way to do it is just using the selector gadget tool where we can basically click on that. Um, we can also uh, press, uh, click on things that we, uh, we wanna deselect. So for example, I don't wanna um, select the links for the podcast, so I'm gonna select that. So we also see that there's some more stuff. If you hold, I think control and then click on it, it'll still re it'll remove other stuff. Um, I also want to remove this. 
So now we have all of these things that we want us to select. So these are about like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten links. Okay. So what we need to do is basically I'm gonna paste that. And what I like to do is I'm just gonna um I'm gonna use this. Wait, let me say uh page twenty five. I'll say page one. I'm gonna use this as like kind of a, a tester thing. So I'll say page is that. So we have our page. And one thing that we have to do is convert this to our HTML. So we'll say read HTML and give that to a page. If we look at it, it'll be kind of like HTML body. So after that, we can now um, start grabbing our, our data. So the first thing we do is we just say HTML nodes, which is basically the stuff that we were clicking on. So these are the nodes of this HTML page highlighted in yellow. So in this case, we're going to grab this stuff. And if we do this, that means it's starting to web scrape. And what we can see is we have all these nodes, which are href, which are our actual links. So if we look on HTML attributes and then we just say href, it'll grab all the links. And since we have 10 links, this makes sense. Great. Um, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to convert this to a table and we have that. Um, yeah. So I'll also, I'll say rename, uh, value is equal value is equal to, uh, link links. Uh, what is it? Oh, maybe it's links is equal to uh, value, All right? So now we have our links. So after that, I'm just going to put wrap this into a function. So I'll say get links and I'll say function and we'll just say the function will be inside a page and then we'll just put this into that. Cool. So this is our, uh, so we'll say like create a function to grab the links. Okay. So what we'll also do now is we'll get our 538 pages and then we'll say mutate and say, uh, we'll say, what is it? Links is equal to map, give it our page and then say, get links and we'll assign it to our original data frame. Okay. So let's say scrape the links. Okay. So now that we scraped our links, we can look at our thing and we have our, our links. If we do our unnest, uh, what is it? Oops. Unnest links. We have all of our links with the page numbers, etc. So I'm just going to assign that to our data frame. So now that we have our, our, our links, I'm just going to select this, the first one and we can go to this. And this is a pretty easy thing to scrape. So I'm just going to load up the selector gadget. I'm going to click on these things. We have all the text that we want to select. Maybe we want to deselect that stuff. What else do we want to deselect? Uh, maybe we want to deselect that if that'll cause any problems. And I think that's fine. So there's also this, but I think we can get away with it. Okay. So now that we have that, I'm just going to put this into say, so we now we have our links. I'm going to call this into like a page, I guess. So we're just going to reuse the page. Oops. I'm going to come on that out. So I'm going to just use the first page, put that into it. And then we'll say, what is it? A uh, page is to read HTML page. And then what we'll do is we'll say, uh, was it HTML nodes and the HTML nodes we want to grab is this thing. Oh, HTML nodes. So we, and then what we can maybe do is HTML, was it text? Okay. So this didn't work. So maybe we can, uh, uh, change it up. Let's see if we can just scrape it in a general fashion, like just with the P. Okay. 
Okay, so we have that. Interesting. Maybe, let's see here. How, what else can we do? It's running into an error. So let's, let's, let's figure out what's going on. Maybe I need to select the actual, we have that, we have this. Interesting. So, okay, let's see what's going on here. Hmm. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna select this again. It should work. Let's see if P works again. H page. Okay, so let's do page, boom. HTML, oops. HTML nodes, read HTML page. Oh, that's why. So we had a space there and it was causing an error. Okay, so let me actually try out to see if this will remove anything that I don't want. Great, so now we have all this text. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna put that into a table. And one thing that I see that's uh, a, a nice pattern is that the characters or the, the what is it, the employees of 538 are separated through a colon. So what I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna use the separate function and say separate and say value and then into staff member and then text the separation will be a colon, but also what I'm gonna say is extra is equal to merge. This is basically, so if they if these people use a colon, it won't separate it into another thing. So it, it's only gonna find the first colon and it'll split it. Okay, so if you do that, we have our thing, right? So we have that text. Sometimes there's gonna be a, I guess a, uh, unknown so let me see if that's uh if that makes sense okay so it, it seems to be putting these things as uh they're separate things but that's fine um maybe i'll try a p just to make sure it doesn't if it fixes it okay is there a process postponing the election? Nope. So it does it does the same thing. So we're just gonna keep it like this. Great. I think that's fine for right now. Um we can definitely do some string manipulation, but we're not gonna worry about that right now. So I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna put this into a function. So get text. I'll say function and we just give it a page. And we're gonna paste this in. One useful thing that we can also do is we can use what's called the um, progress package since there's going to be a lot of um, there's going to be 250 um, pages that we're going to be uh, scraping it's probably useful to look at the progress so what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to um, uh, let's see where I'm going to do this okay so I'm going to do that so I'm going to say create a function to extract text but I'm also going to load in the what's it called the progress package and with the progress package is it basically allows us to add in a progress bar so what I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna just add in a progress bar which is generally denoted as PB say progress bar new and then the total so this is the amount of um, out of like uh, processes that it's gonna uh, try to track so our processes is what we're gonna be scraping or the total amount of pages we're gonna be scraping which is going to be the n row of the 538 um, packages. You can also add a format to it. So I'll say format is equal to, say, executing. Uh, we'll give it a uh, loading bar, and we'll say percent, and we'll also give like an ETA. Okay, so we have that. And in, in the actual function, all uh, oops, I'll just throw throw that and I'll just give it what it's called a tick and then I'll do give it a sys.sleep 
Great. So then I'll do that. Okay, cool. So now what I'll say is uh, scrape the actual text. So I'm going to call this, uh, I guess, I'll just put it this on the 538 pages. So I'll say 538. And then I'll say, what is it? Mutate and say result is equal to map. And then I give it, what is it? What do I, what did I call it again? Uh, uh, links and get text. And I'll assign it to our 538 thing. Okay. So maybe, let's see, did I do it? PB tick, PB. So now it's going to be running. Uh, let's see here. Okay. So it just ran 538 pages. And then we have a results and let's do the unnest results. Great. So now we have all of our text into that. I'm not sure why our get text thing wasn't working with the, the PB. Let me, let me look at it. Function page PB tick. Hmm. Oh, well. Um, so yeah, th this is a pretty quick video, but um, this is basically how to do you know, a really basic web scraping. Um, it's pretty easy. Um, you basically have to focus on the HTML nodes and then your HTML attribute. In general, if you're just gonna grab the actual text, you just use HTML text. So I know it's a pretty quick video, but I just wanted to do it. Um, it's probably, even though it's uh, pretty simple, it's probably the most powerful thing to learn. And it's probably one of the most useful things you'll actually do in your data science projects. So I'll see you guys next week and tidy on.